guys, I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'm coming at you with my February favorites for 2019. So, let's get started. Alright, so if you guys tuned in last time to January favorites, you'll know like that was quite a lengthy video because I fell off the wagon, I wasn't making favorites videos for I feel like almost the whole last year. So I decided to do them again because I like to share with you guys the books that I'm reading, anything that I obtain because as you guys know I am very thoughtful about what I choose to accept into my life so I hope that this grants you some insights and maybe inspires you to read a new book. Because I hadn't done a favorites video in a long time, January was pretty long, I'm going to leave it down below because there's a lot of really great things in there if you guys didn't check it out, there's a face mask that I'm still in love with, used it this morning, etc, etc. <laughs> And so today is February favorites and I'm going to start off by letting you guys know what I read this month. The audiobook that I listened to was Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. This was actually the book of the month for my self-improvement Patreon community. So every month we read a book together and we chose to read or listen to Dare to Lead. Brene Brown is very well known for her work in studying vulnerability and people's feelings when it comes to expressing emotions. It's a little bit more shifted or geared towards people who are working in office environments or the corporate world, I'd say. But I had some amazing transformations and some amazing insights come out of that book for me. Mostly all of them were just around human connection and how to better connect with the people around me, like which language to use, how to comfort someone when they're in a sad or an unfortunate situation. And it just was such a, a powerful book. I think a lot of us need to learn more about vulnerability and trust more in being vulnerable with others because that's truly how we get connections with other people. And you guys can probably recognize in some of my videos, I feel like for the most part I don't really have a filter sometimes, so I let you guys know a lot of what's going on in my life or things that have hurt me or upset me in the past. I think that you can recognize that you connect with me more and more when I am sharing my hard times with you. And that's how we connect as humans, when we are vulnerable with each other, when we let each other know that I felt that before, I've been there, and in that way we can all help each other and we can all connect with each other because, you know, that's what we're here to do. We're here to have a good time and share it with people that we love. I like to listen to books, that's why I consume content the fastest, but I have been slowly reading some hard copy books when I have some time in the afternoons or before bed. And I'm reading this one right now called Witch. This was given to me by my sister Gabby. You guys know Gabby, you'll see her again soon. <laughs> but so this book is by Lisa Lister. I'm about maybe a third of the way through. This is a book that I feel like you read slowly because like you get inspired, you get intrigued and you think about it. So which, I mean, it kind of looks like a little bit scary. So this is like a book all about just being an unapologetic woman and it's got a lot to do with manifesting, a lot to do with cleansing yourself and your energy. It's just truly an incredible book. What I've learned from it so far is just we need to break the stereotypes of, you know, witches or manifesting being seen as black magic or something. I, I've had my fair share. If you guys go on any of like my law of attraction videos, there's probably a bunch of comments of people saying that I'm using black magic or I'm using like negative powers the devil or whatever but you know i honestly everything that i manifest comes from my heart and if you, those of you out there who are good at manifesting yourselves you know that when you're manifesting with a pure heart and soul for what you want it's, it's in manifest and it's all in regards to the greater good of others and for helping and serving the world so Anyways, this book is super cool. And the other book that I've been reading, which I'm probably gonna be finishing today or tomorrow, and this is Girl, Wash Your Face. This was given to me by my sister, Jen. But it's not too long, like it's a good light read all about self-improvement and it's really nice. As I mentioned before, vulnerability, this kind of goes hand in hand with it, but to listen to Rachel Hollis's stories. For each chapter, she kind of uncovers a lie that she had previously told herself. As we all tell each other stories, and our, sorry, I mean our self stories, that we replay and replay and replay again, and she just uncovers each of the, the lies that she had been telling herself that had been essentially stopping her from achieving what she desired or, or achieving happiness. It's all about recognizing limiting beliefs that you have in yourself and moving forward. And, it's really great because she shares some really vulnerable stories in there and I just feel like, I, I mean, I could connect with them. I'm sure there's many of you out there who could connect with them as well. Definitely a book geared towards 
more towards women, but I'm sure that men can get something good out of it as well. That brings me to my next item <laughs> in the favorites, which is this sweater that Jen also gave me. And I, I wanted to share this with you guys in my January favorites, but it was actually in the wash at the time. So this is a cute little crew neck that my sister Jen gave me. It says good vibes and I've been loving it. I, as you guys know, I wear a lot of black. I'm trying to like branch out and I feel like I've been branching out with reds, reds and yellows. <laughs> so basically my wardrobe these days is blacks, reds and yellows. But the loving this crew neck, I'm not sure where Jen got it, it was a gift. Jen has a blog though, such an adorable lifestyle blog. You guys know Jen, she's been on the channel a few times, it should be on the channel more. So I'll leave her blog down below. But the skirt, I bought this from Zara. And I've been looking for a skirt, like a casual one. I'll show you guys. Sorry, it looks like it's like wrinkly, but I promise it's not. <laughs> I was looking for a skirt that I could wear with my, with my black leggings, with my black leotards, with my black uh, turtlenecks. <laughs> and I wanted a pop of color, and I was looking at Zara with my friend Savannah, and I just like walked past this one, and I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Casual, but you could dress it up. I'll toss in a photo of what... It looks like when I'm wearing it. I've worn it with my winter coat and also with a leather jacket, which has been nice. So really happy with that. I didn't pick up any new products this month. I did get my eyebrows dyed, which some of you guys asked about my eyebrows actually. So I recently got them dyed. I um, don't get them microbladed or anything like this. That's been a question a few people ask. I just get them dyed and like trimmed up and you know, my man Stefano at Sephora on Via del Corso. He is the brow god for sure. So if you're in Rome and you want your brows done, he literally won the award for the best brow artist of all the Sephoras in the world. Okay, so he is so good. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're a bit dark right now. I always get them extra dark so that they, you know, they fade after a week or two. But anyways, I didn't get any products, but I want to show you guys one of my favorite products, which is a all natural deodorant. Stink Bug Naturals in Tangerine Spice. This is the deodorant that I use every single day. I would recommend this one. I purchased a different smell from them. It was tea tree oil, but I found like it stained my white shirts. So this is the one that I recommend, Tangerine Spice. It smells really good. It was, it's all natural. It's very, very important to not put anything with aluminum in your armpits. You guys might already know this but it's been linked to all different types of illnesses, cancer, disease. It's just very important to use natural products where you are perspiring underneath your armpits. As you know, this is like a very sensitive area. So just imagine everything you put onto your skin gets absorbed and this is just a really fast track for things to get absorbed. So be conscious. I really love the Stink Bug Natural products. I get them off Amazon and I'll be leaving that link down below for you guys. Coming to the end of the video, I always like to mention a YouTube channel. So this month I am going to be featuring my amazing friend Tatum's YouTube channel and she has just recently started it. She is such a wonderful, wonderful person. She is just so beautiful inside and out, has an incredible soul. She's just recently moved to Barcelona to do a study abroad program, so she's documenting and sharing her journey with you guys. Sevilla is the capital of Spain's southern region called Andalusia. The city has been occupied by Phoenicians, Romans, Visigoths, and Arab Moors all throughout the Middle Ages. She's done such an incredible cinematic job. I, I was so inspired. Tatum's channel down below and I hope that you check it out. Have an amazing March. Can you believe it? It's already March. I hope that you have an incredible day.